today with a foundation review. This is not going to be a first impressions or a how it wears throughout the day. This is a video, me telling you my thoughts on a foundation I've used quite a few times and kind of giving you um, a demo of how it applies and then of course, a little review on the actual foundation. If you are new, welcome to my channel. My name is Cassie. I hope you enjoyed this video and decide to stay a while by hitting that subscribe button and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Also, I did do a get ready with me. Basically, everything that you don't see in this video is in the other video, the eye tutorial, cheeks, uh, blush, highlight, lips, all of that is in a get ready with me video. So make sure you're subscribed, that way you don't miss that video. But today we're gonna be talking about the Ordinary Coverage Foundation. This is the high coverage foundation formula. Lots of mixed feelings about this foundation. I've heard that it's amazing. I've heard that it's horrible. Today I'm gonna tell you my thoughts. I've tried this a few different times. I did try this originally with the Spreadability Primer, I believe is what it's called and I did not like it. That primer is going to be great if you have dry skin or you're working with a really matte foundation. It was too hydrating and it just made my skin way too oily and too greasy. Now I have normal skin, slightly combo, but pretty normal. I don't get overly oily in my T-zone and I'm not overly dry. I'm pretty, you know, even kill or all around. Also do not have sensitive skin, so nothing really breaks me out, which Thank you, Jesus, for blessing me with good skin. So I've tried this with a few different foundations. I've tried it with a beauty blender and a brush. I do find that you're going to get much um, higher coverage with a brush and a little bit more of a medium coverage with a beauty blender. However, either, I prefer either. The brush is just gonna get a little bit better coverage. I have two colors here, 1.2 neutral light and 2.0 neutral light medium. I feel like it is a pretty good match in the demo, for some reason, it felt like it looked a little bit more yellow than normal, um, but it could just be a lot of myself tan has worn off. Now I did purchase these both from Beautylish. It is an inexpensive foundation. It is $6.70. So it's very, very inexpensive. It's actually less expensive than probably 95% of the drugstore foundations out there. They do have 21 shades and they do have pink, neutral, and um, yellow or golden undertone. So I do love that they have a decent variety. Um, and then they also have the different undertones, which I think is great. Now a little bit about the foundation. It says that it is a full coverage foundation with a lightweight creamy feel. I definitely feel like it is um, buildable to full coverage uh, and it does have a very, very lightweight feel. I don't feel the product on my skin. It doesn't feel cakey or thick or heavy or anything like that. It says it has specially treated pigments that cover and diffuse uneven skin tone with a rich, highly saturated effect. Proprietary spreadability system, a unique suspension system that allows pigments to look natural on the skin while keeping them from fading, caking, or collecting in fine lines. I don't have a ton of issues with a foundation settling in to these lines here. It's just never been an issue for me. I know some people have um, issues with the foundation settling there. I don't think I've ever noticed, nor have I ever um, had an issue with foundation settling there. My main issue is it wearing off right around my nose, wearing off on my forehead, and wearing off on my chin. Now this foundation I do find I get probably four hours of really great wear and then it kind of goes downhill from there if I don't touch up. So if you have super oily skin, I recommend using a uh, mattifying primer and make sure you are checking and blotting throughout the day. If you have dry skin, I think this is gonna be great. I do not find that this is a matte finish. I know in the description of the color, it does say that they are matte finishes. It is a very dewy, a very glowy finish. You will want to set this with a powder, otherwise you're just going to be very fresh looking, like a little over the top fresh looking. So I do recommend setting this with a powder. If you have dry skin, I would even still recommend setting it with a powder because it is very, 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 very dewy. I don't find that as you let it sit, it dries to a matte. It is the opposite of a matte foundation to me. So I'm a little confused by why it says that it's matte. So I really do like this foundation. To me, it is not going to be a long wearing foundation. Uh, it's going to be something for me that is lightweight, um, something that I need like really pretty looking for just a few hours, so not something that needs to get you throughout your whole day, but something that's going to look nice for a, you know, a small chunk of time that doesn't feel heavy on the skin. It feels very light. 
Um, and I do think it's really, really pretty, but it will start to get oily on me at, like I said, probably hour four, it starts to kind of get a little bit oily, but I feel like I can um, blot it down with a beauty blender and it really does just kind of bounce back. I hope that was helpful in giving you some information about my experience with the product as well as what it claims to do. Now, if you want to see how it applies on the skin, then just stay tuned. Um, for primer, I'm really loving this infallible matte lock primer. So I'm going to use a little bit of that. All right, so I have two shades here. The shade I use when I'm pretty tan is 2.0 neutral. I also have 1.2 neutral. So I might end up mixing the two. We'll just have to see what works best. Now the packaging is like plastic, little packaging. It's like such an inexpensive foundation and I really like it. I think it looks really, really nice on the skin. I've seen mixed reviews on it. I personally really like it. I don't have very oily skin. I have pretty normal skin. Um, if you can see there, this is, it's very runny. This is 1.2 and this is 2.0. So I'm gonna just mix the two. I'll do a pump of each. This is their high coverage. So you probably don't even need that much, but I'll show you on one side how good it covers. And so I'm just going to use this Real Techniques brush and blend it in. I like the Ordinary Primer, just not with this foundation. I would use that with probably more of a matte foundation. This just is too dewy and the Ordinary, it's like called the Spreadability Primer. That one is just, um, too hydrating to match with this primer. I mean, with this foundation, it's just too much. I have a little bit of skin peeking through so I can build up in those spots. It's not the fullest coverage foundation I've ever used, um, but it also feels super light and it is, you know, rather buildable. So I just like a beauty blender because I feel like I don't get brush marks as much but I find that this foundation is a really pretty foundation. It looks really pretty on the skin, but it does kind of start to break up. So it's not like a super long wearing foundation in my opinion. And then because I don't like the brush marks, I'll go in with my beauty blender and kind of tap over just to really blend it in. Now, like I said, you can see just how like glowy and dewy it is. Like it's one of the most glowy, dewiest foundations I've used in a really long time. I like a good glow, but this baby definitely needs to be powdered down. I don't find that it like accentuates my pores or fine lines or anything like that. It actually looks really quite pretty on the skin. All right, I'm just gonna use my favorite concealer, this NARS Soft Matte just to conceal under the eyes. I do find that this foundation, if you do use a ton of cream products over it, will start to look a little bit cakey, which is not my favorite. So I'm like on, you know, I'm really on the fence with this foundation. I like it. It's definitely like not my favorite foundation. Um, it's really inexpensive, which I can appreciate, but I don't know. I'm still testing it out, seeing how I feel, but I definitely wanted to get a video up, kind of sharing my initial thoughts. I've worn it probably four or five times now, and I do like it. I mean, I obviously keep coming back to it. It just doesn't last a long time, you know what I mean? Like, it looks really pretty. Um, it is a little bit of a finicure, finicure foundation um, as far as like the products that go over it, how they lay, how they wear. Um, but I think if for a short amount of time, if you want a really pretty um, foundation, I do think it is really pretty. It just definitely is not a long wearing foundation by any means. Um, some people absolutely love, love, love this foundation and some people hate it. So it's really a toss up uh, between people liking it and hating it. I guess it depends on what you're looking for in a foundation, what your skin type is. I'm gonna lightly set the rest of my face using this Fit Me Matte and Poreless and just kind of giving it a nice little set because if you don't, I feel like your 
other powder products will go on super splotchy. So you want to give it a nice good set here. I'm going to finish up with the rest of my makeup and then I'll be right back. All right guys, so that is it for the demo. I hope you guys enjoyed. Have you tried this foundation? What are your thoughts? Let me know down in the comments below. I do think for the price point, it's a really good foundation. It is very inexpensive. Now there are other foundations that last a little longer at the drugstore. So it's really up to you if you wanna give it a shot. I think this is a fantastic foundation for dry skin. I think if you have oily skin, there's just better options out there for you. Now if you have oily skin and you've had a different experience, you thought it was really good, please let us know down in the comments below. Like I said, I don't have overly oily skin, so I can't speak to that. I can only speak to my normal normal skin and it does like I said get a little bit oily so let me know what do you guys think have you tried any other products from the ordinary let me know your favorites or your experiences down below and yeah I will talk to you guys in the next one bye